Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor and this is how to play Trap Queen by Fetty Wap on the guitar. Uh, this was a viewer request and it's a good one because it does uh, introduce us to some triad shapes. I love triads, so any opportunity to bring them to you is cool. So we're going to look at some little mini triad shapes up on the top strings which serve as the intro and the verse part and then look through the chords and the strumming. It's a little tricky, this one, if you want to get it sounding like the original, but uh, I'll do what I can to break it down for you. In the description box, there will be a link to subscribe if you haven't done already. And do like the video if you enjoy it, it helps me out. Social media links are there too. And let's take a close up on the neck and go through the intro chords. Okay, so what we have are some triad shapes. Triads are three note chords. Basically, that's what a chord is, it's three notes. And those three notes we're gonna find on strings one, two, and three. The first chord is actually an A minor chord, and we can play that up in the eighth position. Finger one is in fret eight on string one, fret eight. Finger two is on fret nine of string three. And finger three is on fret 10 of string two. Kind of like a D minor shape, but we've moved it up into the eighth position. So my reference note is the A under this third finger. And there we have it. That's an A minor chord, an A minor triad. Now you note by the chord name, we say A minor slash E. It's technically a slash chord because the lowest note we're playing in pitch is the E on fret number nine of the G string. So E, A, and C, it's an A minor triad, but E is the lowest note. The second chord we go to is an E minor triad. That E is where we're going to start this chord shape. So it's nine with finger three, eight on string two, finger two, and seven, string one. Put those together. That's an E minor chord. So it's A minor, down a fret with the first finger to E minor. A minor, E minor. You see fingers two and three, they're swapping strings. The rhythm here is one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four. It's so a bit of syncopation, and if anything, it's, it's quite short and choppy. So you do that a total of three times, and then you move down the neck, down into the uh, fifth position for this chord. So this here is your F chord. There's an F on fret number six of string two. If I form like a D chord shape around that, I have an F triad. D, E, F. It's an F chord right there. And again, the name F slash C, because the lowest note we're playing, string three, is the note C right there. So it's C, F, A. Okay, that's the, the chord. And then we go from there down to this. It's a C triad. C, E, G. Finger three is fret five, string three. Finger four is fret five, string two. And finger number one is on the third fret of string one. Put those together, you've got a C triad. Okay, so the rhythm is the same here. We go F, F, C, C, C. F, F, C, C, C. Then you're into the verse. Okay, so the triads can be used in the verse as well, or you can just play through the chord being represented by those mini chord shapes. So we had A minor. It's one, two, three, E minor, two, three, four, A minor, E minor, two, three, four, A minor, E minor, three, four, F, and then C, and four. And you do that four times, and that will get you through the verse, okay? The chorus, it's a little bit busy. I'm gonna play through the whole thing and then I'll break it down in sort of two measure chunks. Okay, here it is. Okay. 
So taking those first two measures, we start with an A minor. And then we're going to go into a G on beat number four. Okay, but the rhythm that we've got is a one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So it's down, up, down. Note my hand is constantly moving. It's very important for eighth note strumming that your hand doesn't stop. Okay, so it's one, two, and three, four. So one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and. We went to an A, E minor on beat number two. And then we strum on the beat two and the upbeat of three. So it goes, those two measures together. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and. But down, up, down, down, up. Okay. The second time we go A minor, it just starts the same as the first time. So A minor, G, E minor. Then we're going to add in this, you can hear this in the bass on the song, there's this B, B note. I'm going to put in a B5 power chord if you can fit it in on beat four of the second measure in that group. So it's one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. Careful, we're going to try and get your muting technique going on with a power chord so you hear just those three strings and finger one is resting on the lower string so they're muted out. Okay, so that's the second two measures. And the third time it's similar again, but we go to the G chord at the very end. It's one, two, and three, four, one, two, three. Like in the first time, we had an E minor on the upbeat of three. This time, we have a G chord. So it's A minor, A minor, G, E minor, G. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Kind of counted that, right? Down, up, down, down, up. And then on the last time, gets a bit busy now. We have a D minor. Going to the E minor going to what is going to be a C power chord and then we go up to a D power chord and then to an E power chord. Okay, so that rhythm is going to be one, two, and three, four in the first bit. D minor, E minor, C, one, two, and three, four. Again, the hand is constantly moving. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and. So we go, we're going up the fifth string with the power chords. We've on the, we've hit the C5 on beat four. That carries over, says four, one, two, three, and. All right. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and. That's the progression. Let's put that all together. Here we go. One. Ending on the A minor. Okay. So there you go, you can find a tab for that from my website, link is in the description box. Um, hope it helps, enjoy it, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye!